very good. Ah, yes, there was one there. You see what I mean? They're really in annoying little places. So, there is a very good chance that I will still miss some. Okay, finally we learned an overdrive mode. So, I'll show you that once this battle's over. I'm trying to let the characters take some damage so I can actually use a few overdrives here because I have not been able to use a lot of overdrives. Because I'm well prepared for these areas and I tend to be able to avoid most of the damage so it's not been too much of an issue. Because obviously if you make sure that you use Null Shock and you have the correct armors then you're not really going to be taking much damage from these guys so you need to be... sometimes taking damage is a good thing. Until your characters learn, you know, more overdrive modes anyway. Yep, Tyler's accuracy is still not good enough. And because these flyers appear quite a lot, Waka's going to continue to increase his levels pretty swiftly. But obviously if you prefer to have uh, the extra AP points, then you can get rid of the TKO and just give him a normal weapon so you can get some overkills. Okay. I did say I'm not dodging any of these. So. There's one of those things, uh, once you start dodging them, you're trying to dodge them, when you get hit by one, it just gets annoying. So I'd rather let them all hit me. Seeing as there's no negatives to it. Okay. Finally, level 2 spells. So how long until level 3? quite a long way. So it's going to take a while. It's going to take a few hours before we get there yet. But the level 2 spell should be good enough for quite some time. So there you go. Tylus has learned the ability slow. So the rare steal from uh, from the fiend that has a weird name that looks like a Komodo dragon is unnecessary. Because Tylus can do it already. I use slow more in uh, boss battle type situations. And if there's a um, and if there's a, let's say, a really difficult enemy, sometimes random encounters can be difficult and uh, you want to slow them down or you want to do a little bit of extra stealing. You can always cast slow on them so you get more turns. What is that ability down there, is that? I don't remember. Let's have a look. Luck. Okay. Already told you about luck. I wouldn't be surprised if I end up repeating myself on issues quite a few times over this playthrough because it's just so long and there's so many things to, to talk about. Unit 2. Yeah, everyone's making pretty good progress. What is that next ability down there? Cura. Okay, that's going to take a while as well. So it takes quite a bit of time before Unit gets to level 2 to spell. But from here onwards the abilities come in thick and fast. We've got like Shell, Protect, which is the physical damage version of Shell, uh, Reflect, Dispel. So a lot of good stuff coming up, but it's going to be a while before we get there. Okay, Overdrive Mode. So there are a shitload of these and it's not until the post game that I'm even going to bother trying to get them all and I don't think I've ever got them all because I've never really needed it but they are there so I guess I'll probably show them to you in the post game but warrior charges when a character damages when charges when character damages enemy so let's change it to that because at the moment I'm not I'm not really taking too much damage from uh, from the fiends but as you can see Titus is the first one to get a new overdrive Okay, um, I guess one thing I'd advise is get something like Null Shock for Riku. Because obviously if you plan to do a lot of stealing, if you have something with multiple slots, then feel free to use one of the slots for, um, for Lightning Proof. But if you don't have something with multiple slots, then just, uh, then just stick SOS Null Shock onto something. Because obviously when you're stealing, Let's say there's only uh, lightning-based fiends left in the um, in the battle.
then Riku is never going to take any damage and she can steal to her heart's content. So it's going to be useful for you. Good day. Hi there. Is it true? I heard that Maester Seymour and Lady Yuna are to be wed. It's such great news. I have to tell everyone. Where'd you hear that? From the Guado. They were all very excited. Huh. I'm afraid you heard a little wrong. Yuna's gonna turn him down. <gasps> oh, really? Hell yes. I see. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm sure that people would have rejoiced all over Spira. <sighs> Man, people are so selfish. I feel sorry for these summoners. They're like pieces of meat. Okay, so let's uh, let's watch Tynus's overdrive here. So that made quite a big difference already. So you're going to notice the the overdrive's coming in a lot more quickly now. Especially since with Tidus it's extra important because you need to keep doing his overdrive in order to gain access to the other ones. Let's check out Water R. Go with the flow. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. Two thousand damage. The juggernaut rolls on. Surely there's a treasure chest in this little bit over here. Or was there a cactar stone? Maybe both. So, like, this is the kind of encounter I'm talking about. You can get Waka to, to take this thing out, and then you can just get Riku in there, and she'll be fine for the rest of the, the battle. So, yeah. Bring in Riku, and I think after two hits, she'll be in SOS HP. And she could probably, by the end of this battle, probably steal like six Electro Marbles, so... Um. There's really not anything for you to do. Damn it. Obviously I'm not going to do any excessive stealing because uh, I don't really need it. But I'm just going to... I just do enough stealing to show you guys what's available. And... Because uh, then otherwise if I come in too prepared then just um, the bosses lose their... lose their difficulty, so... I mean, this this fiend has so much HP and has so and such high defense that Ludo is really the only person that can finish it off. Oh shit! Why did I cast fire? Damn it! Ah, now I don't have an item strong enough to to take it out. Great. Thirsty. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Magnificent, in fact. Okay, that was the one time where the lightning strike was annoying. Okay, I'm gonna get Waka to have that so we can get a few extra. So we can get a few extra AP points. So yeah, for weapons we still don't have very many good abilities. And petrify grenades are also awesome because you can get stone strike. And we've already talked about why strike weapons are particularly good. And this will basically... There is a 100% chance of this uh, of this afflicting petrification. So the only time it won't be 100% is if the um, is if the enemy you're facing has like a percentage resistance to it. So if it's 40% resistant, it'll be 60% chance. But yeah, you need um, you need 60 for Stone Strike, so you're going to have to do a lot of stealing. So I wouldn't recommend wasting time to, to steal 60 Petrified Grenades. That's just uh, that's a bit overkill for this uh, for this stage of the game. Okay. Almost at the halfway point for this uh, this area. Victory for now. 
I am aware that um, that Waka has his new overdrive from Blitzball, but I'm going to wait until I use it because uh, it might be more useful for a for a more powerful fiend. So I'm going to keep hold of it for now. Nothing. Almost at the overdrive. So if you have the water ball instead, this is what happens. You get a nice overkill. Okay, let's move on. Hopefully I got everything in this first bit, otherwise I apologize. I'll come back to it. Okay, let's use Tylus as overdrive, even though it is a bit overkill. At the end of the day, it's the only way to, to get more of them, so... And now that we have Warrior, we'll be able to charge it slightly more quickly anyway, so... Speed things up a bit. I mean, after a while, you are going to start getting tired of rotation, and uh, you're just going to start killing everything with whatever characters uh, are best at doing that, so... I don't blame you for that. Oh! Interesting. Waka could die here. Okay. stuff. You see, I mean, these three, they're pretty much killing it. You don't really need anyone else. You can bring in Riku to steal every now and again, but I mean, I think there's only one fiend where Auron might be needed, and that's the, that's the dragon one. And other than that, these three, they've got this. One of my favorite little scenes here. Whoa! That was a close one! <laughs> Stop kidding around. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> mm, what's wrong? <laughs> You're giving me the creeps! Whoa! I want to go home. I hate lightning. I hate thunder. Let's go rest over there, please. This storm never stops. Better to cross quickly. I know, but just for a little while. <laughs> well, what now? Uh. <laughs> so if you want to increase your Riku affection, now's a good time. Stay with her. Just a few minutes. Just wait with I'm her. I'm scared of lightning. Let's rest, please. Pretty please. Come on, guys, man. Just give it like half an hour. I'm They're so mean. Young to die. Wow. They are cold-hearted bastards. You're mean. Cruel. Your moms would be ashamed of you. Yeah, you tell them. Are you having fun doing this to me? Fine. We rest. She's worse than the storm. <laughs> One of my favorite Auron lines. I'm a little tired. Do you have a room available? Ah, Lady Summoner. Yes, just over that way. Thank you. Yuna? It's not like her. Is there anyone that doesn't know Yuna? Yuna resting. Go away. Alright, okay, just when I thought we were starting to become friends. <laughs> it's not easy being a guardian to a summoner so young. Yeah. I wonder how old Brasco was when he went on his pilgrimage. 
Are you that scared? <laughs> when I was little, a fiend attacked me while I was swimming at the beach. My brother tried to beat it back with a spell. <gasps> but he missed and hit me instead! It was a thunder spell! <laughs> Ouch. I've been scared of lightning ever since. But it can be effective. Magic is effective against marine fiends. My brother said that too. You should learn some spells too. Ah! Hmm, maybe later. Nice to see you again. Welcome to the Rin Travel Agency. Oh. Shh. Mm. Keep it quiet, huh? One thing I will comment on is, um, if you remember back to when we first met Riku, she didn't really have those spirally things in her eyes. Her eyes just like a normal, kind of, well, I'm going to say human, but you get what I mean, like normal, normal eyes. So I don't know why they didn't ha make her have spiral eyes when we first met her. But you're going to want to talk to Rin here, for one very good reason. How goes your study of our language? You're supposed to say okay here, of course. Why would you say no good? That is good to hear. Allow me to present you with this book for your study. Ah, yeah. I wonder, would that be Sir Orin by any chance? Yep. Ah, as I thought. I've been wondering since I saw him at the Meehan High Road branch. Sir Orden! I wonder if you remember me. Ten years ago, at the beginning of Lord Braska's calm. Yes, I should thank you. Not at all. I could not leave a wounded man to die. However, I was surprised when I saw you gone the next morning with that wound. An ordinary man would not have been able to walk. I'd rather drop that subject, Rin. As you wish. Oren is no ordinary man. I think we've kind of figured that one out already. But some, some obviously some interesting things must have happened at the beginning of, uh, of the calm, and we're going to find out just, uh, just what happened when, uh, when uh, Sin was uh, defeated. Ten years ago. Maester Seymour and his entourage passed by a while ago. And the Maester is to be married soon? Excuse me, where did you hear that? The Guado are telling everyone. Oh, they are, are they? <laughs> Damn, word gets around fast, man. This is everything. Welcome to Rins. Okay, just items. So yeah, if you wish, you can buy grenades here. These things do three to 400 damage and they can provide you with easy kills. Because a lot of the enemies uh, around here are less than 400 HP. So yeah, if you want, you can stock up on those. They're useful for mixing as well. So if you want like a cheap, easy mix, you can also do that. Yuna looked preoccupied. Was it because of Jisco? Well, yeah, since, uh, since the end of the Guado Salam section, she does seem that way. Uh, I want you guys to check something for me. It just uh, came to mind after this little conversation we had with Riku. Before triggering this, uh, this scene in, in this uh, agency, try to get Lulu to cast a thunder spell on Riku uh, in the first part of the Thunder Plains and see if she has like a special kind of line that she says there. Because obviously that would be... That would be like a nice little touch if the game made that happen, but I doubt it's there, but feel free to check that out in case uh, Riku says something interesting. I wonder what's wrong with Yuna. Okay, let's find out what's wrong with Yuna, and I'll probably end the session here for today. I would love to sit and do this for like f six hours a day, but obviously I have lots of other stuff to do, so I have to plan my time.
I... Well... It's nothing really. I... I just... Uh, um... That... Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have uh, come in. Uh, uh, hey! Wasn't that that uh, Jisco Guado guy? Uh, hmm. uh. The sphere is his will. It says, take care of my son. Huh. His son, Seymour? Well, I know one way to take care of him. I'm sorry. Huh? Uh, what do you think you're up to? You know, you know was acting funny. Yeah, so, so. yeah. She'll tell us when she's ready, so hold your chocobos till then. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright! Oh man. <laughs> They're practically brothers now, those two. Brilliant. But I think I agree with Oren when he says that Yuna is a, is a poor liar. Okay, so she was being pretty secretive about what, what, the, uh, what the sphere showed, and hopefully in the next uh, recording session we'll be able to find out just what Jiskel's final will and testament is.